Celtic have been watching a target for a long time, this is silly season after all. Wait till you see what he is worth. And the Celtic FC women lifted their first ever Scottish Cup, at Tyne Castle this afternoon, in front of 4,345 supporters, and in doing so completed a domestic cup double by defeating Glasgow City with an extra time goal from super sub Izzy Atkinson. And after having to play out 80 minutes of an incredible final with 10 players after the sending off of Jody Bartle in somewhat controversial circumstances. The attendance record, for a cup final in Scottish women's football, was broken at Tyne Castle yesterday, as Celtic FC women and Glasgow City played out a thrilling 120 minutes. Fran Alonso's team managed to come out on top with a 3-2 win after extra time when Izzy Atkinson's stunning late strike fired the girls on their way to the team's first ever cup double. Callum McGregor is gutted he won't have Ryan Jack lining up next to him in midfield against Ukraine. The Rangers star is unavailable for Scotland due to another injury, with Luton Town star Alan Campbell being drafted in as a replacement. And his rival at club level admits that's a blow for Steve Clark's men. The Celtic captain said, it's super disappointing. I'm sure he will be. Obviously, us in the squad want him here as well. He's a top player and he has loads of experience at international level as well. He's a big miss for us and he will be disappointed no doubt. But it opens up a door of opportunity for somebody else. That's what we have to do as a squad. Okay the sun has gotten to Cal Mac, enough of that talk. Back to the crazy story of the day. Celtic have been watching Bristol City striker Antoine Semenyo for quite a long time ahead of a potential move, according to journalist Peter Rourke. The 22-year-old has reportedly caught the eye of several top teams following an impressive campaign with the championship outfit and could be plying his trade away from Ashton Gate next term. According to Bristol World, Celtic sent senior scout Craig Strachan to run the rule over Semenyo during the winter as the Robins took on reading. This is all to talk up the player's price if you ask me. Keep watching. Put your coffee cup down now. And the same outlet has stated that the Southwest side have placed a £20 million price tag on their prized asset as they look receive a substantial fee for the academy graduate. Five minutes later. Say what? I OK Celtic are never buying a £20 million player. Never. And if we do I will give away my collection of Celtic tops. Manager Nigel Pearson recently addressed the growing speculation surrounding Semenyo's future in an interview with BBC Radio Bristol. I don't spend too much time worrying about that. I think we will, in time, have decisions to make on him, but hopefully, he'll be here this year, admitted the 58-year-old tactician. Would I stand in his way of going to top a Premier League side? Absolutely not. But it would have to be the right deal for us, as a team. This is where it gets interesting and for me, the price falls. Semenio's current contract expires in the summer of 2023, but Bristol City are believed to have the option to extend his deal by a further 12 months, leaving them in a strong position around the negotiating table. Nevertheless, O'Rourke is sure that Celtic will have continued to monitor his situation after being linked to the talented forward over the last couple of windows. He went on to say, I think he's someone that Celtic have been watching for quite a long time. There was talk of a possible move last summer, and also during the January transfer window, and I'm sure Celtic have continued to monitor his situation. He's got potential, Semenyo. Semenyo bagged eight goals and racked up an impressive 12 assists in 31 championship appearances throughout 2021-22 despite his side finishing in a lowly 17th position. No way are Celtic paying 20 million, not a chance. He is valued at 2.50 million euros on the Transfermarkt website I will put the link in the description for you to look at his stats. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.